Well, they're beautiful, exotic, and people are willing to pay thousands of dollars to own one. We're talking about hybrid cats, a cross between an everyday house cat and the kind of wild cat you'd find in a jungle. Breeders say they make wonderful pets, but some states are so concerned about them, they're banning them the custom kitties. NBC Bay Area's Monty Francis takes a look at the growing debate over these exotic pets. Okay. Nicholas Oberzier runs a cattery in Benicia called Styled in the Wild, where he breeds a relatively new kind of hybrid cat called the Toyger. The Toyger is a cross between a domestic cat and an exotic one found in South Asia called the Leopard Cat. Toyger should look like a tiger. It should look like it, should not act like it. In fact, Oberzier says his toygers act more like dogs than cats, develop strong bonds to humans, are highly intelligent. Oh, oh listen to them. They really are special, though. And as he showed us, they even walk on leashes. An aeronautical engineer by profession, at home he is more of a scientist, mixing cat DNA, and is working to perfect his own version of the species. We do it the same way as you mix a drink. They're cocktails. Bad bartender, good bartender, mediocre bartender, um, and that's the difference. He's named all of his toygers after cocktails, including Big Kahuna, a 20-pound cat he says most closely reflects his aesthetic. When he's finished, he says his cats should look like miniature tigers and weigh about 35 to 40 pounds. Overseer says the toygers are precious and they're graded by quality. Much like diamonds, he says, the better the quality, the higher the price. Kittens from these new so-called designer breeds can sell for anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000 each. Ten U.S. states have laws that ban some kinds of hybrid cats. Ten other states and the District of Columbia require permits or regulate them. California has no restrictions. Most of Oberzier's toygers are at least four generations removed from wild cats and have just a small amount of wild blood left in them. But in San Francisco... They're very busy. They don't tend to stay still for long. Bridget Cowell breeds savannas, a hybrid combining the domestic cat with an African serval. She and her husband live with two first-generation savannas that are genetically half-wild. Most people would like to live with a lion or tiger, but obviously it's not so much fun, and it requires a great level of responsibility. So there's that attraction to the wild cat, which you can have with a savanna. What some consider to be the tallest domestic cat in the world is a savanna named Magic, seen in this YouTube video. Breeders say the cats are great companions and safe with children. Some savannas can be double or even triple the size of a standard cat, but Cowell says most savannas aren't that large, that their wild nature has been exaggerated, and the vast majority are considered just another breed of domestic cat. The savanna will eat cat food, use a litter box, sleep in your bed without even thinking of you as dinner. You know, they're so pretty much the best of both worlds. Dr. Jennifer Scarlett at the San Francisco SPCA says there's a reason some cat clubs, such as the Cat Fanciers Association, refuse to recognize hybrid cats. She says especially the first and second generation hybrids exhibit wild traits and can be destructive to the home. There's no doubt that they're beautiful, but they can be um, quite um, nocturnal in their behaviors, which can be frustrating to people. And again, sometimes their temperament can vary quite a bit. She also points to the 240,000 stray cats in California shelters that are euthanized each year. But Cowell, who also operates a rescue for the Savannah breed, says breeders of purebred cats are not to blame for overpopulation. He thinks it's a game. As for concerns about whether their wild blood makes her cats more prone to attack, she says that's simply not true, considering the temperament of the wild cat whose DNA they share. The serval itself doesn't attack people. The serval doesn't see the human as prey. The serval actually hunts rodents. Yeah. Marilyn Krieger is a certified cat behaviorist who herself owns two hybrid cats. She says they make wonderful pets but aren't for everyone. Very, very intelligent. They are, they bond with people. Uh, they're very social animals. I don't recommend them for everybody because they, they're very active and perhaps people don't want a very active cat. Despite that, most hybrid breeders have long waiting lists, and people appear to be lining up for the privilege of owning a new kind of cat with a wild family tree. 
Monty Francis, NBC Bay Area News. While California does not have any laws against owning hybrid cats, some cities and counties do. However, we checked with a number of county agencies in the Bay Area and none could cite any dangerous incidents involving hybrid cats. It's a fascinating story. Let's bring in our chief meteorologist now, Jeff. Yeah.